Melanie's Melanie's Muses here, where I muse about things in the entertainment world that are entertaining to me, and sometimes a few weird and other random videos too, but hopefully whatever I'm musing about, you stay along for the ride. Today I'm back with another Forgotten Feature Friday, which is a new segment for 2021 where I talk about films that I feel could use a little bit more love, usually from back in the day, often that people have forgotten about or were flops at the box office, and then I tell you why I think you should watch it. If you miss any of the previous videos, you can check them out in the playlist up there. So let's get to today's movie. My kind of weird, almost futuristic get up is because I want to talk about the 1995 movie Hackers. Hackers is a really cheesy movie, but I absolutely love it. It has a kick and soundtrack. It is a little over the top, but you know what? There are a lot of famous people making their debuts here. And if it's not their debut, then it's often one of their earlier films. And yet this movie was a huge flop. It didn't even get notoriety as a cult movie but I think you should check it out. Hackers follows Johnny Lee Miller, who was a hacker as a kid, and he is a hacker now that he's a teen. He has the kind of computer skills that I could only ever dream of, being completely computer useless myself. That being said, I did used to imagine myself as one of these hackers back when I first watched it, and even now when I watch it, but the closest I'm gonna get to that is being a character in Susan Harris' book that channels Penelope from Criminal Minds. Other than that, I think this is a non-star. Alongside Johnny Lee Miller, who is going up against the system, is a very young Angelina Jolie. That's right, you heard me, Angelina Jolie, sporting a very interesting pixie cut, but nevertheless, this is one of my favorite roles from her, even though it's an early one. And if you like Angelina Jolie movies, there's actually gonna be another Forgotten Feature Friday coming up with one of hers that is a request from Ashley Berlinski. Keep an eye out for that one. So back to Hackers. As well as Johnny Lee Miller in his first major film role, this was pre Train Spotting Days, and the amazing Angelina Jolie, you will see very familiar faces such as Matthew Lillard. Yeah, he's in this too, along with Lawrence Mason, who gives me some very Lafayette vibes in this movie, and Fisher Stevens, who is the plague, playing the villain in this, also representing big corporate America. The story is very far-fetched. You have a group of teenagers who literally unite with hackers everywhere to fell a huge corporation that is trying to blame them for a whole bunch of things, but mainly the Leonardo virus that is about to sink a whole bunch of oil tankers. Yeah, you know that's not good. From a villain that seems to go everywhere on a skateboard to an insane setup where they are hacking computers from the New York City subway system, I'm not even gonna pretend that this movie makes sense, but that doesn't stop me from really enjoying it. Also, watch out for an appearance from Penn, from Penn and Teller. Yeah, he plays the security guy in this, and it's kind of weird to see him without his little partner and not doing anything magic. I'm not sure whether he thought acting would be a good move for him or just something that he wanted to try. Maybe he knew somebody on the set, who knows. Either way, definitely a little something to watch out for. It's one of those movies that definitely doesn't age well, but that has never stopped me from enjoying something. I'm really happy to overlook all the things that probably wouldn't have worked even back in the 90s when this was filmed, and sure as hell don't work now. I did look to see if it was streaming anywhere. I have the DVD, but it is streaming on Cinemax right now, which you can get a free trial for seven days. So if you want to get it just to check this out, do it. Check it out and then come and let me know what you think about it. Okay, and I think that's about it for this week. Huge thank you if you stuck around to see what I was musing about. Please make sure you do all the fun YouTube things, like, comment, and subscribe, especially comment. Let me know if you've seen Hackers. Let me know if you loved Hackers. Let me know if you think Hackers was a complete waste of time and wonder why I'm musing about it. I don't mind, I love to read all the comments. Yeah, even the negative ones. If you wanna come and chat with me about this movie or any movies or TVs or books, pretty much anything at all. I am live every Sunday with my husband Greg over on my Facebook page. All the cool people in the comments are hanging out and we have a giveaway, which you just have to comment while I'm live to enter. How cool is that? You know what, all the cool people are in the comments, so if you're a cool person, you should be there chatting with us because if you're not, you're probably somewhere else. You should also check out my website, melaniesmusics.com for all the latest goings on. All the blogs are posted there, there's giveaways, music features, reviews, guest articles, pretty much if you can think of it, it's probably up there, I and mean, it's not up there yet, it probably will be soon because we're adding new stuff every day. And of course, click that little notification bell so you don't miss next time I have a video up. The only thing you can count on for 2021 are Mail Call Mondays and Forgotten Feature Fridays. Everything else is random and gets posted when I think of it, when I'm wondering about it, when I'm musing about it. And the occasional Zoom call on a Wednesday where I chat with mainly authors at the moment, but who knows who will pop up in the future. And I'm gonna leave it at that, and I hope to see you back here next time. Bye.